thinking about human rights and getting involved in human rights issues affected your thinking going back to your basic issues of patient consent, et cetera? Yeah, I don't want to see it as separate. I think it's, I mean, it's basic. It's a, it, I'd formulate it now as a human right, you know, the right not to be touched, treated without your consent. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I just thought it was a civil right at the time. Yeah. That's locked into the American legal system where it's either a civil right or a constitutional right. <laughs> Those are the only two kinds of rights there are. But now there are human rights too, which for most American lawyers is too vague. Which was why we were able to, why American lawyers were able to rationalize torture, waterboarding, indefinite detention at Guantanamo. All those things totally unconstitutional, illegal, immoral, fund, violation of fundamental human rights. But American lawyers and doctors were able there to, to work together to torture people. It's a scandal that we still don't want to talk about. And then after 9-11, you began to concentrate on these issues. I did. I did. I couldn't help it, I mean, because the, the country was changing. And not in good ways. And we haven't gotten over it. I, I did believe, this sounds like my HIV AIDS days again, I did believe that we'd get over it in a year or two. How naive is that? I really did. If this is a bad pat, we're going to get through it. No, we still haven't gotten over it. If anything, it's just as bad now, maybe worse. Every day we get a new terrorist group we're worried about.